Hello, hello, Simmers. This is Canadian Simmer here, and uh, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I know I haven't done a voice uh, over video. Oh my god, I'm totally messing this up. So I haven't done a voice video in a while. Um, I found that it just, I don't know, not that I was uncomfortable doing it, but it just, I don't know, when I played it back, it just seemed weird to me. And I figured nobody wants to listen to me talk anyway. So I just put music on for you folks and hope you enjoy that instead. So every once in a while, I'll come on, do a little tutorial video, or maybe I might do a speed build with a voiceover. We'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. But anyway, um, yeah, so I kind of let it out of the bag. This one is a tutorial video. Um, I was on one of my Facebook groups the other day and somebody had asked a question about the move ob object cheats. And I know a lot of you know that if you put in the move objects cheat and you press control nine, it'll move the objects up and down. But there's one little trick to it that I found, which makes it so much better. So if you want to place stuff on counters and whatnot, there's a little trick that you can use that will help you out. So first of all, let's put in the move objects cheat, which is BB move objects. Apparently I can't spell today. And you just hit enter and it'll turn your cheats on. Now I've pre-built a room, ta-da, see, pre-built room. Okay, and we're gonna put some counters in. Cause I'm gonna show you, well, let's put this one in, this one's cute. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. We'll put five in, okay? And then we're gonna go into our um, decor, decorations. Now, okay, we'll take this for instance. Now see how it's placed right there, but say you want it, actually hang on. Before I do that, let's put a sink in because there's going to be something really cool here that I'm going to show you. Okay, so back to the decor objects. I'm all over the place today, guys, and I'm really sorry. So see you've got this little plant, but you want it like right here by the sink. What you do is you can place the plant. Now my move objects cheat is on. So then I'm going to move this counter out. Now see how when I pull this plant like click on it and then move it back it's level now watch this all you do is press alt oh that counter's not far enough i gotta move it away okay so press alt and it's going to move the plant where you want it now all you gotta do is move the counter back and it's placed on both counters same thing here so let's find uh let's say a picture frame for instance We'll make that a little bit bigger. Same thing, place it, move the counter, make sure it's far enough away, then move the this and now look, you can pretty much place it. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky and you have to move both counters, but you can place it. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Turn my grid on so I can see. Place it anywhere I want. So I can place it right there I'm going to move my counter back and then as you can see it's on both now I want it a little bit further back so I'm going to move those forward and I'm going to just move this back a bit so it's right against the wall and as you can see we'll just tilt it and look how close to the wall I can get it and it's literally right in the center of those so it's very very easy to do so like I said put your control or put your uh, move objects cheat in which is bb.moveobjects if you're not sure of how to open up the cheat bar, it's control shift C and then you'll get a little bar at the top of your screen. And yeah, so let's do another one. Let's place another one. So this one you can't actually place at all on the counter. So if you just move it to where it's kind of intersected with the counter, push control and then nine, it's gonna move the object up to where you want it. So you want it level with the counter. Now, if you press alt, you can actually move it anywhere anywhere you want on there so you can have it like right in the corner ta-da look at that look how close i got that so it's a very very awesome cheat i love using this cheat i use this cheat a lot um it's fantastic i uh, hope this made a lot of sense and i didn't sound like a complete moron although i'm sure at the beginning of the video i did sound like a moron because i was a scatterbrain and all over the place but like i said it's been a while since i've done a voiceover video so bear with me so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and uh yeah get back to me soon because there's going to be some new videos up on my channel so talk to you guys soon have a good one happy simming and goodbye